Hello and welcome to another video. If you like food, specifically Asian food, and you like bulking, this video is for you. Today I'm going to do my bulking diet just eating Asian food. Let's get into it. The most challenging meal today was going to be breakfast. So just so you see my dedication, yesterday I went to the shopping centre to pick up walk to walk, a nice little pad thai uh, to eat for this morning's breakfast because right now we're going to play paddle in just about 45 minutes so I need to hurry, no time to get shit ready so warm this up and get going. <laughs> Guys, right, so this is meal one, breakfast. Pad Thai for breakfast. Maybe you find it weird, I can't complain. I really love savory dishes for breakfast, so let's give this a go. I know it's a crime, I don't have any chopsticks, sorry. That is very good. Even heated up, love it. It's got a lot of the pineapple flavor, which I like. This just has chicken, egg, a few vegetables, pineapple, and that's it. Pasta, egg noodles. We're going all out, as you can see. So, I've got a snack, seaweed snack. This is for after the pad thai. And we've even got tea. Now, it's not a specific Asian tea, it's not green tea, but nevertheless, it was the most Asian drink that I could think of that was easily available, meaning I had it at home. Uh, so we're going for tea with breakfast. These cups, I actually filled mine too much, but you should only fill them to around half because they pull out the heat from the tea into the cup. So then the tea cools down pretty quickly. The problem is then the cup is very hot, so difficult to pick up, but it's an interesting technology that they have. This dish was 10 euros. It's acceptable for the size of the portion that it is and for being in a shopping center, pretty decent. I would have preferred to get just a, a chow mein or, or a pad thai from the local Chinese restaurant, but they were already closed, so it wasn't really feasible. So I went to get this at half past 10 last night after the gym. Regarding calories, I was just looking it up on their website. This is actually very useful. Walk to Walk has their own calorie calculator. And according to this, this is a serving size of 543 grams. So half a kilo of food here. And then we have 669 calories that is a lot so what i mean by a lot is for a bulking meal it isn't that much but for the average person that just goes around isn't necessarily uh an active person isn't necessarily trying to actively gain weight almost 700 calories for a meal it's pretty much 95 grams of carbs 44 grams of protein 3.95 grams of fiber which is shameful but it's obvious from what's in here and 10.9 grams of fat. So I'm actually surprised at the total protein, 44 grams. I don't feel like this has any chicken in it. It's just two or three pieces. So I don't know if it's from the egg that's in the noodles or if the extra egg around the, that they used to fry this with. Still, I don't know. I'm impressed, 44 grams. Let's hope it does indeed have that. That is done, almost 700 calories down. The cup is now at a good temperature and so is the tea. And now, just to finish it off, this little thing, for some reason, Piggy thinks seaweed is for him. It isn't. So, per pack, this little thing, which weighs nothing, has 29 calories, 2.1 grams of fat, 1 gram of carbs, and 1.4 grams of protein. There you go. But absolutely no weight. This comes with these little layers of seaweed. We are done with breakfast. That was pretty good. I enjoyed this breakfast. Wouldn't mind eating it more regularly. And now, it's time to go and play paddle. Here we are in the paddle courts. Joanna and I, we're waiting for our friends, Bernardo and Mariana. And it's pretty empty today, which is cool. Uh, obviously we have the court to ourselves, but it's not too much noise on the outside. Love these courts, love that color. Really, really cool. I play terribly, but this is a huge lot of fun, so really looking forward to the game. So 
this is post paddle. We have showered and are ready to go to lunch and we're going to eat some French food because it's like, no, I'm just kidding. We're going to have some Korean barbecue, which I'm very, very excited for because I've never had it. I'm slightly scared that Joanna is not going to like it. She's a bit picky, but praying. How do you feel after paddle? Tired. I feel like my head is not working, but it's okay. It's the weekends. You'll think for me. Let's hope. Let's hope I have that ability. And are you looking forward to a day full of Asian food? Mm, I'm. My day is not going to be full of Asian. Food. You're going to have Asian food for lunch and Asian food for dinner. Yeah. And you're going to have an Asian dessert, which you didn't know yet. So here we are at the hand table. We've got our own little exhaust with the lights and we've got the grill which is here, it's not yet mounted. And we've just chosen a nice little mix of stuff which looks amazing. This is Joanna's meal. See, this is all Joanna's gonna eat, like a rabbit. And this is kimchi. I've never actually tried it, but it's fermented cabbage, so I think it's going to be amazing. We've got some scissors, I don't know why. And some... I don't know. Tweezers, good one. Swords. These cups are the biggest swag. And metal chopsticks as well. This is a vibe. Guys, everything is here. Look at that. Huge meat platter. We've got the veggies over there. Kimchi. What more can you ask for? I've got my nice little tea here. Let's dig in. Okay, it's a bit noisy, but let's give this magnificent little beef a taste test. Very garlicky, but very, very good. Estimating the calories here is going to be rough, so I'm going to do it later on looking at the picture. Right now, I'm just going to dig in. Also, let's try the kimchi. Wow. That is spicy, I didn't know it was going to be spicy, but very good. Right, trying another little cut of steak with a different marination. Interesting, good, but the first one was better, all full of garlic. And now we've got this, which is pork. So that's the pork belly. Let's go ahead and try one of these dumplings. Quite hot, but tasty. Very nice. And that was a deal. Eight dumplings for seven euros, so pretty decent. Here we have <coughs> pork belly, which took a bit longer to grill, but it's one of my favorites. That's very tasty. The marinade, honestly, is very, very good. And now, this is beef, marinated in kimchi, and supposedly this is the spicy one, so here we go. It's a bit spicy, but eating eating the pure kimchi is a bit spicier. But that's very, very tasty. That might be my favorite. It's a flavorful spice. Wow, absolutely loving this. Right, update. <clears throat> Not much is left, look at that. There's only these two strips to grill. Joanna has given up because the food is a bit too spicy for her. I've got that on the grill and we've got a bunch of veggies to demolish but it's going well. I didn't know that if I was going to be able to finish this on my own because Joanna, well, she did the, the dumplings which was already good. I've already dropped a spoon on my shorts. My mouth is on fire. Joanna keeps spilling dumpling juice all over the place because when you bite it, it just splatters. What do you have to say for yourself? Not a good place for a first date. 
Done with the meat, finally. And now I'm attacking the veggies. And these veggies have a, these transparent noodles. I think they're rice noodles. They're amazing. This is really, really good. Pardon the slob eating, but it is what it is. Eating veggies with metal chopsticks, not easy. Almost done. Oof. Wow. I am very, very, very full, but for me that was a great experience. I've wanted to come to one of these for ages, so today I needed a lot of calories, so it was actually the perfect occasion because Joanna hardly ate anything. How was that for you? It was fine. Good but spicy? Good but spicy, so I can eat a lot, but it was tasty. Very tasty. The kimchi marinated beef was amazing and they also the first one i tried was garlic marinated beef and that was also spectacular and the, the staff were really really friendly i'm gonna leave a, a link in the description for this restaurant so overall very happy but stuffed now we might go and get an asian dessert i still need to think if i'm too full so let's just wrap up this lunch I was running an estimation based on the pictures that I took, and I'm not quite sure. I have a feeling that it was a bit more calories than these that I'm registering here. I did my best to estimate the meat, the dumplings, the sauces added, but I think this estimation might be slightly below. Still, from my calculations, lunch was around 2,000 calories. It was 2,051 calories. 168 protein, 80 carb, which makes sense because it was a lot of meat, not many noodles, just two dumplings, so it does make sense. And 116 grams of fat. That was monstrous, to be honest with you. That's my estimation for lunch. Let's get on with the day. So the decision has been made and we have come to get some Japanese desserts. And not only did we get a dessert, we got three desserts. <laughs> <laughs> We've got bubble tea, which is arguably not a dessert, but doesn't matter. We got a bubble waffle, which I don't really care for, but Joanna's gonna have one with Nutella, the most typical Japanese topping. And then we're going to have two moshis, which are amazing. They're these little round things, gooey on the outside and ice cream inside. We got a white chocolate one and a normal chocolate one. So very looking forward to that. <laughs> so this is a person who doesn't drink bubble teas trying to open my bubble tea. Stop it. No, no, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> so, I thought Joanna would be a good assistant. <laughs> mm. She's always saying that I get <laughs> dirty when I eat. With these conditions, I mean, I don't really stand a chance, do I? Look at that. Soup of tea. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to survive this, but very very good maybe slightly too sweet this has got chocolate milk tea and tapioca if you've never tried this it's not for everyone but I absolutely love it the texture of the little tapioca balls is incredible and the tea is also very very good so now we've got the mochis that's the chocolate one white chocolate one and we've got the bubble waffle Joanna's very embarrassed of eating in front of the camera make a mess you need to get a chocolate mustache, otherwise YouTube isn't going to like the video. Like the video for Joanna not getting a chocolate mustache. Like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe for more slobbery eating vids. Look at that, that actually looks fantastic. That's... Nope. Let me try it. Nope. Trying this for the video. Mm. It's good, but mm. I don't get the appeal, honestly. I'll stick to my tea. Oh, opening moshi time. <laughs> it's cold. It's got ice cream. Of course it's cold. 
<laughs> it's too cold. <laughs> Giving the chocolate one a try. I think the white chocolate one, even though it doesn't taste of white chocolate, is better because the chocolate ice cream of this one isn't amazing. I really like the outer chewy bit, which is bean paste, I think. Really, really good. Enjoy. Okay, this unplanned dessert. So I didn't eat the bubble waffle, I only took a little bite of it, as you saw. So I ate basically the two mochis because Joanna didn't love them. They weren't they weren't the best mochis I've had, to be honest with you. But the bubble tea was very good, just slightly too sweet. So I had the two mochis and the bubble tea. And for this, we have a total of 538 calories and a breakdown of three grams of protein. So as you can see, amazingly nutritious, 128 carb, zero fiber, and three grams of fat. So I suppose that's the good thing about that meal, the mochis and the bubble tea. It's very low in fat. So if you just want carbs and you have carbs to spare in your daily allowance, I suppose it's not the worst dessert to fit in because it's very, very low in fat, very handy. It's now 10 to eight and we are on our way to dinner. I'm still absolutely stuffed. How are you feeling? I'm ready for the next one. <laughs> So we're going to do this really, really good sushi place. I think it's considered maybe the best in Lisbon or in Portugal or something like that. Joanne has already been there. I have not. It's called Yakuza, Japanese mafia. Uh, looking very, very, very forward to this. I've been wanting to go there for a long time. Obviously, it's pricey, but let's hope it's very worth it. Keeping with the Asian theme, let's keep bulking. Let's go. Dishes. This looks absolutely amazing. We've got 16 pieces of sushi and 16 pieces of sashimi. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. It's not the best place to film, so we're just going to dig in and then I'll give you a review later on. Okay, right. So I'm going to try the last piece on the menu. They suggested that we ate this last because it's the most intense. It's got truffle. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. It looks like it has a fried egg underneath the truffle, but it isn't. What is it? It's not an egg, but it looks like it. Anyway, let's go. I think it is an egg. That wasn't really sushi for me. That tastes like, like I don't know, something else. It was good. Tr not, I thought it would be more intense, actually. It's pretty good. What do you think? Yeah, I decided that truffle is not my thing. And that is done for this meal. It looks like there's still a lot, but that's just ice and a few vegetables and flowers. This was very, very good. Look at the sushi man doing his thing over there. Very nice experience. We had this couple right beside us, this trio of people, and it was just uncomfortable to film. Now they're gone, but we finished our meal anyway, so. It was very good. I'm actually quite full, even though it wasn't that much. We each ate eight sushi bits and 10 sashimi bits, right? So it wasn't a lot compared to what we usually eat, but still, I'm, I'm pretty full. It was a nice serving, a bit pricey, but you can really taste the difference in the fish. I'm very happy with it. So it's very dark, but I am very happy with that meal. It was very, very, very high quality. It's probably the best fish I've ever had in my life. The highlight was definitely the tuna. The company could have been better. The tuna was the absolute highlight. Very, very, very tasty. Uh, the texture was amazing. It sort of melted in your mouth. And the other fishes as well, we ate some yellowtail. Uh, we ate some, uh, I, I don't know the names of the other fishes. We had salmon and then there were other two. I don't know how to say it in English, but they were good. Yellowtail was probably my favorite in terms of novelty, but the tuna was the highlight. Absolutely amazing. Then the, the sort of different sushi pieces, they were good, but they weren't as impressive, but still very, very good. So happy with this meal. And we make it to the end of the video, guys. 
I'm going to just briefly wrap up the calories for this dinner, which was absolutely amazing in terms of taste, but it ended up being lower in calories than what I would want for a bulk day. But since lunch was so heavy in calories, it kind of made up for it. So just a quick breakdown, 1,118 calories for this sushi meal. It might be, yeah, the thing is, the sushi in itself wasn't a lot, so there weren't many calories there, but then I still ended up eating most of Joanna's dessert, and that added up a nice bump in the calories here. So 1,118 calories. We have 90 grams of protein, which makes sense, because a lot of the food was just raw fish. 77 grams of carbs, mostly from the dessert. 3 grams of fiber, somehow, don't know how that showed up. 46 grams of fat, which also makes sense. Which brings us, to wrap this up, to a grand total of 4,376 calories. I think this is slightly above my average consumption for this bulk. I think I've been around 3,500 calories. 1,000 calories over the top is not the worst. Uh, I, I actually think I need to increase my calories because I, my weight has been quite stagnant. The total macros for the day, this is shocking. 305 protein, 380 grams of carbs, 10 grams of fiber, 10 grams of fiber, this is shameful, honestly. 99 grams of sugar, just for context, and 176 grams of fat. That is a lot of fat and a lot of protein. Normally it would be much lower in protein, probably a little higher in carbs, and around this amount of fat, to be quite frank with you. And I would have a bit more fiber because I do eat a lot of avocado and stuff, blueberries. This was a heavy bulk day. I thoroughly enjoyed it. My thoughts on having a full day of Asian food. It tastes amazing. I love Asian food. I probably could eat it daily, at least at one meal, and wouldn't get sick of it. Even if it were a slight variation like a pokey, which isn't Asian, but Asian influenced, I would say. I love it. In terms of taste, it's magnificent food. I'm sure all of you uh, love pad thai, sushi, poke bowls, dumplings, all of that good stuff. So you know what I'm talking about. Absolutely loved it. In terms of filling, it, I think it actually has a good ratio of you being able to eat a lot of food and not feeling too full. So it's, a lot, it's very calorie dense and not too voluminous. For example, sushi, you can easily smash two to 3,000 calories in a sushi meal and not feel completely sick if you go to a buffet. I mean, it's completely doable, especially if you're eating salmon because it has the fat. It, you can really bump up the calories in a single meal. The one thing I would say is that it is really, really low in fiber. Even, uh, even when you do eat some veggies, they're usually fried and they're not very fiber dense. So it's not going to be great in terms of nutrition in that sense. So you, uh, you would ideally complement the, the Asian basics with some other foods that would give you a bit more nutrients, like blueberries, like avocado, something like that. That would be a good bet to even it out and make it a bit healthier. Other than that, it was amazing. It was the best sushi I've had in my entire life. No doubt about it. I do think it is a bit pricey and I'm not going to go there too frequently, but I definitely want to go back, especially because of the sashimi. That was just mind, mind blowing. The tuna and the yellowtail were out of this world. The desserts, I absolutely love. Bubble tea is a go-to. I love bubble tea. And the Korean barbecue, that was for me the most surprising thing of the day. I had high expectations, but I think it was even better than I expected because I'd never had it. The marinades of the meat were super, super tasty. It was amazing. Really, really love that. So definitely want to go back. Not with Joanna though, because you won't eat that stuff. So overall, I'm super happy with this day. It was such a fun bulking day. Got to play a bit of paddle. Didn't go to the gym though, but regardless, it was an amazing day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this and leave me your thoughts and opinions, any suggestions that you have in the comment section. That is all from me and I will see you in the next one.